Hi everybody, Jake here. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, we're back with another episode of It's Coming Rome, this series where we try to take Lazio to Champions League glory in as short a time as possible. And um, it could be happening far sooner than any of us imagined. As you saw in the last video, we somehow got through the quarterfinal stage. We've knocked out Barcelona and Juventus so far. We've been drawn against Manchester City in the semi-final. And as you can see in the top right, the first leg has left it all to play for in the second leg. It was a 1-1 draw. Manchester City getting the away goal is getting the home goal. Manchester City are the best team in the Premier League currently in this football manager save. They've got a very good squad, but can our momentum and the way that we're playing carry us over the line? It just might do that. On top of that, you're going to be seeing another thing in today's video. That's right. As you can tell by the league, we are very, very close to winning the title and we will be playing the match on top of the Manchester City match against Parma today to see if we can potentially be in a Champions League final and have a Serie A title under our belt in our first season here as Lazio manager. Without doing all that much, the tactic and the dynamics have really worked brilliantly in the players. I think the mental side of so many of these Lazio players is their best attributes and that's really helped the team, I think, in just moulding to this tactic and working well as a unit. So as I did mention, we are here against Manchester City today. Not too much has happened since you last saw us against Juventus in the Champions League semi-final, quarter-final, should I say. We drew against Atalanta after that. We then beat Bologna, beat Fiorentina, drew to Manchester City and won 2-1 against Verona at home with Joachim Correa getting both goals there. And I just saw a comment from weeks and weeks ago where someone said, apparently I look like Joachim Correa. Let, let's click on him. I don't think so, but someone thought it. On top of that, before we go and have a look at the Manchester City goals, we have had some people added to the youth intake. If your names are on there, don't feel too harsh about it. Only like five players were actually picked up in this year's youth intake as good enough to join our team. So I just randomly picked the names out of the list that we've got. If you're not on here, chances are you'll be in the next youth intake should we get that far in the save. Because of course, the aim here is to win the Champions League. And if we do it early, then I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't planned it yet. Only if we get to the final will I start to think about this kind of thing. And yeah, here are the youth and take players. Feel free to pause it if you are this person. We've got Nick Legtenberg. Let me know if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. We've got Jort Hazenberg as another good option coming out of our youth academy. We've got Temadeo on the right-hand side. He is a pretty nice winger with 20 determination. So pretty much no matter what, he's going to have a very decent career. We've got Ohad Landev has came through in the youth intake and Rob Claridge. So if you aren't aware, what we do on this channel, at least currently, is just if you put your name in the comments, I'll write it down on the list and then I pick people at random to join the youth intake. And who knows, maybe your player will end up being in the first team in the future. We've had it in our last two series where key members of the team were from the youth intake and were channel viewer players, if you want to call it that. So it's really nice. It's a way to get you guys involved. So if you want to comment your name down below to have a chance of being in the next one, feel free to do it. So Manchester City, let's take a look at some of the goals. I will stop talking as quick as I have been doing, but I'm just very excited for this one. And it's probably going to be a longer one than usual. So I think you'll forgive me for talking a bit quicker. So with that being said, let's quickly take a look at the goals from the first leg where not much went on. Okay, so here we go. As you can probably have told already, uh, Manchester City scored very late on to basically equalise in the 91st minute. Here was our goal, Edward with a bit of a tap in. It was a fairly even game, I'd say. I actually think we probably had the better of it. And there you go, that, that was Laporte's goal. Two goals that weren't very interesting. But as you can see, yeah, we did have a better of it, but that didn't mean that Manchester City didn't do too much. Our XG was higher. They had more chances, way more possession than us. Not that we really need that in, this, in the way that we play, but as you can see, they're, they're a very good team. They're going to be hard to beat, especially away today. They've already got that away goal. If we can nick a goal, maybe we'll start thinking something can happen, but... As we've seen, uh, our home form has tend to have been our better form, as you would expect in the Champions League. For example, here, beat Juventus 5-1, then away 2-1, and we beat Barcelona 4-1 at home, and then lost 1-0 away. So chances are, this is going to be the hardest part of the Champions League running, I would say, because if we do get to the final, we've got Real Madrid. And I know they're good, but Manchester City, in my opinion, are better in football manager. So if we can beat Manchester City, who's to say that we can't beat Real Madrid? But even if we don't do that... We've pretty much got the league wrapped up now. We can't really fail. And um, we're probably not going to show the Italian Cup final. So I'll let you know in the next video, which might be the Champions League final. It might not be. Who knows? This could technically be where season one ends today if we get knocked out of the Champions League but beat Parma to win the league. Then there's nothing really to play for. Maybe I'll show the Italian Cup final then, actually. Who knows? But, yeah. Um, 
I think that's pretty much everything we need to look into. No transfers, no tactical changes. So let's take a look at the squad that we are using today. We've gone for the ever-present Strakosha in goal, who's been brilliant this season with our standard back three of Ayer, Akman, Hozic and a Serbi, the three A's. We've got Anthony Robinson at left wing back, Lazari at right wing back, Castrovilli and Milinkovic Savic making up a midfield two behind Louis Alberto with Immobile and Edward as the lethal strike force up front. 43 goals between them so far, and another 13 goals on their backup striker that's been swapping in for them every now and then in Joaquin Correa. So, big match. Let's get into it, and let's hopefully... Champions League final? Who knows? Let's see what happens. Okay, and we are off here, and we're still in with a chance of winning the treble right now. Manchester City's team is a very good one. Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Jesus, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Fernandinho, their standard back line, Mendy at left back, and Edison in goal. So it's it's going to be a tricky one, but you never know. An early goal would be massive for us, and I thought we might have had a chance from that corner, but it looks like De Bruyne is going to break away. Please stay on Jesus. Don't let... Oh no, we've just let De Bruyne walk through, and it's over the bar, thank God. But, um... Yeah, to anyone who's watching the videos at the minute, we're getting very close to 3,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, Jesus is off. He's going to get sent off. Jesus has been sent off after 15 minutes. We have a very good chance now. We have no striker on that Manchester City team. We can kind of just, I don't want to say not worry about them scoring, but it's it's going to be in our favour. Of course it is. 11 men against 10 men for the majority of the game. Hopefully towards the end of the game, we'll see that tiredness from Manchester City start to play out in the match. And they've got some other bookings too, but yeah. If you haven't subscribed already and you've been watching the videos, please hit that button if we can hit 3,000. That'll be awesome. And I want to hit 90 likes in today's video. So if you are watching the video and you haven't hit that like button yet, it would really mean a lot. If you could do so, feel free to drop a comment down below whether it's about this match, who you think is going to win from this point. It's 0-0 at half time. We've not much gone on other than a De Bruyne shot. And I say not much. A Jesus red card very early on from a horrible tackle, really. Um, possession's been all us. So yeah, uh, comment down below your prediction for the game, your youth intake, feel free to get involved. I like talking to you all, and if you want to join the Discord link down below, there's, that's another way to connect. It's a really nice community. I'll always say it because I think it is amazing what we've done on that Discord so far. I say me, it's pretty much down to everybody who's there and making it such a nice, welcoming place. But um, I don't know, guys, is this going to be a disappointment? I guess we're now the favourites, aren't we? So if we aren't to win this, which currently we're not because we need an away goal, I just thought about that. We would currently be, you know, the, the one that would be disappointed at after this. So I think we've got to go for this. I think we need to go into attacking, demand a bit more, and we should be expecting just to nick a goal somewhere here. And I don't think Manchester City will score any more than another one. If they get another one, fair enough, might be out of luck. But if they were to score two, I'd be very, very surprised. So if we can just get that one goal, we could really win the match here. But 65 minutes in and we're not creating any chances of note yet. Manchester City have really shut up shop and... Um, yeah, with 20 minutes to go, it's about time to make some changes. And it looks like some of our key players might be the ones coming off. Linkovic Savic, very tired. Immobile having a poor game. We've got to keep him on, though. So I'm going to bring on Correa for Edward. I'm going to bring off Milinkovic Savic because I think that, where is he? Perolo does just as good job uh, when he does come in for us. He's been really good for us. Real surprise in terms of how good Perolo is for a 36-year-old uh, stalwart of a game, basically. Azari Robinson, I guess we can take Robinson off for Marisic. And then let's just hold on to the other subs for now and see what happens in the next few minutes. But we really do need to push for a goal, so I am going to go very attacking. There's nothing to lose here. Let's just go for it and hopefully get that goal. In a way, I would not be overly disappointed if we didn't get into the final because it means the series would go on for longer. Football managers just absolutely done me there. That angle made it look like the goal had gone in and then that little thing came up at the bottom which I thought was it saying that I was a goal scorer. Honestly, if you rewind that now, you'll see my face. I fully thought that was a goal but it was just Manchester City making a sub. I thought we'd done it. But what I was just saying is I wouldn't mind too much if we don't win the Champions League this year as I think we've got kind of lucky here and it would give us something to work towards and maybe next season with a few transfers and uh, the dynamics start to wear off over time. I think we'll really see our level then which... I don't think is getting this far in the Champions League usually, but I think this will be a massive boost in probably reducing how long this series would have took by two or three seasons now because of this early success and the early money we're going to be bringing in. But with two minutes on the clock, in added time, Lazari into the box, it's away. Marisic. Marisic past one, past another. Is he going to win a penalty here? He's played a ball in. Aya, Louis Alberto off the post. That would have put us into the final. Oh, we have... We really should have won that. I know you're probably all shouting at me there thinking I should have done something else differently tactically. The fact that Manchester City came out of all that possession. The whole time I thought we were the team on the left here, by the way. I just want to let you guys know that. I thought, because I saw blue here and I just assumed that was Lazio. Silly of me, but um, 
yeah, uh, in terms of statistics, I thought we were the team on the left. We were the team on the right, so we weren't actually having much of the ball. Manchester City just sat back. It's one of them typical away performances in Football Manager from us, really, where we just don't play as well. But look, it gives us another se- it gives us another season at least. I don't think we'll get this far again next season, but who knows? It means we can build up the squad a little bit more. I'm going to keep going with this tactic and try and find players that will just elevate this to another level. You know, if we can have Malinkovic, Savage, Immobile quality level players across the pitch, we're going to win things very easily. But even just losing that semi final there gives us an extra ten million pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if Manchester City went on to win this uh, competition now because they are obviously the best team in it. I think this will probably be if we play Palmer now and assuming we don't lose, which we shouldn't, we'll win the league. And I guess um, we just go straight into season two then, I think, with transfers and stuff. Screw the Italian Cup final. I know the Italian Cup is important to any Italian fans watching, but it's just I I don't really want to show it. I haven't shown any other games in the build up to this final. So if we win it, I'll let you know that season and that can potentially be a double in the Italian league, which would be great. We've had a great season so far, no matter what happens, even if we lose the next four games. So I'll quickly see you when we do get to this final match against Parma. It's a few days away, so I need to simulate ahead. Okay, here we are. It's the final day of the season. Bologna are playing Inter Milan, who are our closest challengers. We are playing Parma. Um, Both games are quite equal in terms of their quality of opponent. But yeah, I I think we'll do okay. I think we should win it. Even if we draw, I think we'll be fine. Here is Inter Milan's team, in case anyone is interested. That's what they have got to the uh, second place with. And Napoli, I know someone wanted to see that. In the comments, this is Napoli's team that they're running with. A pretty good one, and I think they're trying to copy our system a little bit. No, they're not, actually. I got that completely wrong. I thought this were wing-backs, but they're not. They're playing a four at the back. But, um, yeah, I, I think we've got this in the bag. A little bit more interesting news. Because of the money into the club, our finances look like this now. with £42 million in the bank with players that we could potentially sell on to. That is very good compared to how it was when we started this series in the start of Season 1, which we're still in, of course. Um, transfer budget for next year is £31 million with a pretty good wage budget and 100% of transfer revenue retained. So selling players is really going to help us in terms of bringing in what we want this summer. And I think that's what we're going to do. Some of the fringe players can definitely go for a bit of money. And we've also started developing the facilities and things like that. So if we look at our facilities, we've got superb training facilities, excellent academy coaching, excellent youth recruitment, which hopefully we can boost up and great youth facilities, which I think we're making some new ones of currently, which are in the works. No, we're improving our training facilities, should I say. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's what we're doing. And we are also improving our youth facilities. I knew we were. But um, something else that we are doing is our youth team, uh, our under-19s, not our under-20s, but we had an under-19 team that uh, entered into the Champions Cup under-19, so basically the Youth Champions League. And our team won it by a comfortable margin. Raul Morrow was the best player in that team, and you can see why. We'll be using him as a striker going forward, and I think he'll do a good job for us out there in our system. And Gavi, as well, at the age of 16, is really flourishing. And even if he doesn't go on to become a first team regular, he's going to even make us a lot of profit. It'll be a pretty good squad player to have round and about. And Drecker was involved in that too. He's been very good. Novella has been good for our youth team, as is this guy, who could potentially be our backup goalkeeper, Florian Shelhu. I said goalkeeper. No, he's a right winger. There is a goalkeeper that's doing quite well in the youth team. I know that. And yeah, we've got another good young striker coming through. So the under 20s team, under 21s, whatever you want to call it, is doing very well. Our under 18s has got a few good prospects in there too, including new channel viewer players. So I think the future of this club looks bright and we can definitely move on some of the dead wood that I haven't used too much this season. Let the youth come through and bring in some new players. And I think we'll do a very good job next year. I, I imagine, should we win the title today, we should retain it. The cup is a different thing because the cup is so random. But hopefully we can reach the later stages of the Champions League again. Maybe not a semi-final, but if we can reach quarter-finals again next year, round of 16, consistently for a few years, then I think we'll easily make the push to be in that Champions League winning team and actually have the quality to keep up with the likes of Manchester City. Because even though we took them all the way, if you compare the teams on paper, the squads on paper especially, nowhere near as good. But a place where our squad should really shine is in a match like this against Palmer, where no offence to Palmer, but we should walk this match. And even if we just see it out as a nil-nil draw, I think we will win the league. I will try and change this to the league table. Can we see that? Uh, Here we go. So currently the league table has it looking like this with Inter Milan still not playing right now. I think no matter what, we'll win the league as long as we don't lose. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to do the maths right now. We'll see. We should win this match anyway, and then we'll find out. (laughs) If we play this whole match and I find out we haven't actually won the league yet, that'd be quite disappointing, but who knows? Um, Here is a survey. By the way, we went with the exact same team that played the Champions League. Five matches on, uh, five days on, should I say, four days on, whatever it might be. 
we should be fine against this Palmer squad. Here is Anthony Robinson, who has done nothing to say that I shouldn't bring him in on loan next year. And that ball was brilliant. But how good was the finish from an overlay from about a yard away? He just went, you know what? Just in case this doesn't go in, I'm going to hit this with 99 shot power. Because watch this. Robinson floated a pretty nice ball in, to be honest. Then a mobile from here just went poof, top corner. He doesn't do anything simply a mobile. He loves scoring the goals. And that should give us the league title. And we'll soon see at the end of the match if we lift a trophy. But another goal would really just confirm it here, I'm sure. Here is Castrovilli. Louis Alberto. That's not gone to a mobile, which I'm surprised about. I thought we were about to get a second. But... It looks like Palmer are going to try and hit us up the other end. We should be fine, though. Um, if you are enjoying it, don't forget to hit the like button. I've said it a few times, but if you could help us get to that 90 like target, that would be amazing. Your guys' support on this first series of Lazio, it's coming Rome, has been awesome. I, I say it every time, but it, it, you don't understand. Like When I was making these videos at the start, I was happy if I came on after two hours and saw that I had 10 views, 8 views. Most of them were just my friends or myself or my family watching, so... The fact that sometimes I come on now after a day and see, oh yeah, it's on 300 views and that's 5 out of 10 in my last videos. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you guys like watching this. Um, I still don't think my, uh, you know, if if there was an evolution of Jake's quality content, content creation quality, should I say, um, I'm currently at a 1 out of 10 in my opinion. I can get so much better. I'm going to keep getting better um, in terms of how I deliver the videos, which I still don't think is that great trying to get a bit more natural in it, but I think I still talk a little bit too quick. Um, while I'm, I'll shut up for a second, by the way, because uh, Palmer did score. It was a good goal from Javinho, but, you know, it was a nice play from Palmer. But yeah, I, I want to improve how I deliver the videos, but I also want to improve the equipment, the way that I record it, all of that stuff to hopefully make it a bit more of a professional football manager viewing experience, because, yeah, I, I, I want to do this for as long as possible, but I want to see the channel growing over time, and that's only going to happen obviously from your guys' support, but also I need to put in the work to make this channel better. So I want to ask you guys at the end of series one here, what would you like to see that I could do differently? Um, there's some things that are holding me back, it's just like the fact that I record videos on my Mac, which is great because everything goes super quick. The gameplay and football manager is super quick, but maybe in the future I will play on my Mac and record on something else, which I'll need to get because right now Mac uh, OBS for it isn't working great and it stutters and I'd really like to use OBS because currently I've literally got FaceTime basically on in the corner and then I'm recording the screen. That's the reason that I can't hover over my camera and things like that. So in the future, I would like to get, you know, OBS where my face is just recording in the background. I don't have to worry about it. I think I need a bit more better lighting. A, more of a setup is something I want, but I can't really do that right now in terms of like a background of, you know, so it's not just my room with my coats hanging on my door and stuff. And I think, um, yeah, maybe, maybe a new camera that focuses better. Something like that. I don't know. I'll stop talking now because... We are now 2-1 up, and I think Immobile just dabbed. In which case, I think we should just forfeit the match now if he's just dabbed. I didn't really see the celebration until I just saw a quick one of them from Immobile, but there's a great ball in from Nazari. Alberto onto Immobile. I don't even know what to say in this video. Is he going to dab on camera? Okay, it's cut it off, because the game was embarrassed for him, I think, there. But um, Immobile is, of course, storming it. He's been brilliant this season. And in conclusion, I want the videos to get better, so do let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do differently and where I could improve. And we, we've walked this game now, 3-1. It looked for a second like we might struggle, but we're not going to. Edward, who is, of course, a player that we brought in, has done brilliantly for us this year. Um, Anthony Robinson, who we brought in on loan, has done well for us in this match. Ahmed Hozic, despite the fact that he's not as good in this save as he is on our little save in terms of the potential ability rating, I would assume, because he doesn't look like he could get that much better compared to on our little save, where he's like the best centre-back in the world, near enough. Um, he's done great at centre-back, considering his level. Uh, who else did we bring in? Castrovilli has done really well, considering he's not the world's best midfielder. You wouldn't know it in this Lazio team. He outshines Milinkovic Savic in pretty much every way I've seen so far. And another one from Edward there. We've done really well. Edward started off with a throw. Who played it to Ferez? Ferez back to Edward. Passed one. Megs him. Passed another. Took it into the corner. 4 1 up. This is the league title in the bag. And yeah, I mean, the two strikers getting all the goals shows you all that you need to know about this tactic so far. The wing-backs involve quite a lot. Central midfielders, not so much. Sometimes they drive through the middle, but mainly it's just them playing the ball onto one of our two strikers. And we might see another example of that here with Castrovilli to Edward. Edward will probably look for Immobile at some point and then we'll score. That's how the tactic works. It's worked brilliantly. Immobile is our look again, getting in with a good chance. This tactic is working brilliantly. We just need to bring in a bit more quality. Um, players like Aya, Aserbi and Akmed Hozic have started for us this year. If we were a real Champions League winning team, 
they would be the backup options to our, you know, our Van Dykes, our, our Laporte, our Antonio Rudiger's. I'm a Chelsea fan and I've got a Germany shirt on here. He is immense for Chelsea at the minute, but that kind of level of player, the, the real quality, quality players, that's what we're looking for in this team. Um, I can't make any more substitutions apparently, so I guess we just let Ferez go off injured and we play with 10 men. We don't care, we've won the league, it's fine. I'd say the same thing about our left wing back. I really want a really good player like Nuno Mendes. Right wing back, I think Lazari is fine. Central midfield, I need an upgrade on Castrovilli despite the fact that he's been amazing. There we go, we've won the title, guys, but I just want to improve the team in so many areas and I think we really do that in the transfer market this year. Got my eyes on some players already, but let's give credit to this group. Look at them there. They have won the Serie A title in our first season as Lazio managers. We could be going for the double with a cup too. I'll let you know next season how that's gone on after making plenty of transfers, I'm sure. Here we go. Let's lift the cup. We've done it. Woo, Serie A is easy, guys. Who's ever said this was hard? We walked that, to be honest. After about 10 games into the season, I knew that we'd be up there and then other teams just started to fall off as they always do in Football Manager. And our dynamics, our tactic, once it got going, it just blew everyone away. Strakosha there doing cartwheels. We've got the blue and white, uh, well, I don't know what they're called, pieces of paper <laughs> floating down from the sky. Oh, we've walked it. We have walked the league. I'm sure we're going to see all the awards in a second as well, although probably not actually because there's still plenty of games left. But just, just to show you, we're nowhere near even done with the season yet, but look how well we've done in the league. I mean, 35 games played, 82 points on the board, only lost five matches. It was the, yeah, we've lost about the same as some of the other better teams, but we just haven't drew matches like they have. We've just consistently got a late winner or, yeah, we've just been brilliant. And I think next season, with the money that we've got, the finances that are going to come into the club too, the sales that we're going to make, we're going to take this team places, I'm telling you guys. Please tell me that at least Lazio will recognise, you know, if, if you watch the Legends, you'll remember that I never made it off the favoured personnel bit in the bottom right. I'd like to know, after I've done that, that I'd at least be an icon, but no, I'm never going to do it, am I? I'm hoping I'm on the favoured personnel list, but there we go. That is our first season under our belts as Lazio manager. We've won the title. The last time Lazio did that was, da -da 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 -da, let's find out, competitions, Syria, 1974. No, 2000, sorry. 2000 was the last time they won it. They can now add this season onto it, 2020. 20 years on. We've done brilliantly here. On to next season, and I'll see you then, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment, who you'd like to see join the club. Tell me how you want me to improve the videos, what you've enjoyed about this season, all that good stuff. Join the Discord, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.